Hi, so my name's James McCaw. I'm Professor of Mathematical Biology here at the University of Melbourne. I have a joint appointment with the School of Mathematics and Statistics and the Melbourne School of Population and Global Health. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about that later. Um, it's about the research I do that sits across the two areas. I'm also the coordinator of the Master of Computational Biology here at the University. So my background is in physics. When I was uh, a high school student, I focused on mathematics and physics because I really was drawn to the idea that mathematics was a language to describe scientific uh, phenomena and, and, and things that I could see. And, and that's, that's where physics comes from. I did a PhD in physics, but at the end of it, I really wanted to use my skills in uh, computational and mathematical science to, to help work on problems of immediate concern in the population. So I was drawn to the area of public health and infectious diseases epidemiology, which has a long history of using mathematics to solve uh, health problems. So computational biology is the use of computation, mathematics and statistics to study problems in biology. So it's very broad. Um, it ranges from bioinformatics, where we're using um, advanced techniques in computer science like machine learning to uncover patterns in genetic data, all the way through to problems in ecology and, say, sustainable fisheries management, where applied mathematicians are using uh, nonlinear differential equations to help uh, harvest fish from the ocean in a sustainable way. So it's a very broad area. To become a computational biologist, you need a grounding in either biology, mathematics, statistics, or computer science, or a related area, somewhere in engineering perhaps, or physics. You then need to study further to bring those multiple fields together, and the Masters of Computational Biology gives you that opportunity. So there are lots of different things that computational biologists do. I've just mentioned ideas around sustainable fisheries and bioinformatics. Other areas where they work are in understanding how cancers grow and spread in the body. Uh, the work I do is about how diseases spread through human populations. So there's lots of different problems that they work on. So computational biologists will uh, be employed in many different sectors of, the, of society and the economy. Um, of course, computational biologists uh, can work as professional research scientists and academics within the university sector. But the other places where they get um, employment is in uh, areas like Department of Agriculture, uh, Forestry, uh, Fisheries Management, and then on, that's on the ecology side. And then on the uh, clinical side and the public health uh, side, computational biologists can work in uh, medical research institutes, in the hospital system, in private industry through health insurers who need to make complex decisions on um, how to manage uh, their um, clients' uh, health risks and base, so that's computational in nature. So the Master of Computational Biology program here at the University of Melbourne has been introduced uh, to provide the skills necessary for what we believe are going to be the most successful biologists into the future. Just like 500 years ago, mathematics became the language of physics, now we believe and we can see that mathematics and computation are becoming the most important tools to make progress in biology. And the Masters of Computation Biology will give you that mixed expertise. So the way the course works is that the, uh, it has core subjects where you will be learning about the advanced techniques in mathematics computation and statistics and applying them week in, week out to example data sets and problems in biology. And then you also have the opportunity to take um, elective subjects in particular areas that interest you the most. That might be in um, bioinformatics and, and statistical genomics or it might be in mathematical ecology. Uh, that's something that you will be able to decide as you progress through the course. So the Master of Computational Biology has a number of core subjects built around broad themes of biological modelling and simulation. So that's where um, you have uh, 
an idea of how mathematics helps you understand the processes that um, underlie um, or that drive the biological observations. And the other core subjects are around more statistical and computational techniques, either in bioinformatics, uh, so sort of machine learning ideas, or um, um, areas like spatial ecology, where you will learn how to uh, understand and interpret spatially uh, uh, distributed data. So as part of the Masters of Computational Biology, all of the students uh, take a project. Uh, there's two different options for the project. Uh, the primary project is a, a, res a project where you would work in industry, applying the techniques and the skills that you've learnt to a problem of relevance to that industry. And the other um, option is a research project in computational biology, which is offered to people who are looking uh, to delve deeper and potentially uh, do further study onwards.